Uh, great to see you guys. Appreciate you being here. Um, obviously, you know, you hate saying this in early April, but this is a huge week coming up for us. You know, we're not going to skirt away from it, not going to run from it. Um, it starts tomorrow night with Southern Miss. I, I tell our kids every year that they're an SEC caliber club. You know, they're a top 30 RPI team for a reason. And um, we have to play our best to beat them. You know, we've done a good job offensively in the midweek games. Uh, I think we've been in double digits five of the last six Tuesdays. So um, they always have a tremendous pitching staff. So we're going to need to to swing the bats. And, uh, you know, the this past weekend being Thursday, Friday, Saturday, um, you know, Jacob McNary, I feel like he's gotten better every time out. He'll give us a great start and everybody in the pens available. So need to get the week started the right way tomorrow night. And then obviously going into a big weekend uh, with Auburn coming in, in town and not just because it's an in-state rival, but we're both in the same spot. We're both four and eight league play. We both need some league wins. So I know they're going to come in being really hungry and uh, I know that we'll do the same. And it's a big weekend for a lot of reasons. Coach, in the past when your team has been kind of going through rough patches or trying to figure things out, you've oftentimes your message has been just go play. Um, is that your message to the team right now when you guys are trying to turn things around a little bit? Well, not really. You know, that is a consistent theme with us, but like I want to talk to the kids today, like sometimes you just got to go take it. You, mm -hmm. you know, I think if you go into the Mississippi State Series and if somebody said, hey, you're going to you're going to throttle them pretty good once and the other two games are going to be tied in the seventh. If you told me that on Wednesday, I'd have been like, hey, I'll, I'll take that, you know. Um, you know, I think the next step for this group is, you know, in the middle of the game when we have a chance to create some separation, we got to do it. When you get uh, an advantage counts 0 2 one 2 you got to put some hitters away. So obviously we're really close. we got a lot of good pieces. Uh, still really believe in this team, um, but we need to go take it. Coach, what's the mindset for this team with Auburn coming to town? Not only is it the rivalry, but as you said, you're both kind of in the same tier of the SEC. You both really need to have a series win or at least a couple of good games this weekend. So what's your mindset in the locker room heading into this weekend series? Well, I certainly hope that we play with a sense of urgency. You know, I don't want to use the phrase must win, but like we, we need to win. I mean, we need some league wins. And, um, you know, if you don't win this series, you put yourself, you know, you still got half of the league schedule ahead of you, but putting yourself in a position where you just have to win some some road series and, and that's that's exceptionally tough in this league so we don't need to be worrying about the back half of the, the schedule but you know on top of that we just need to play a little better you know we're doing a lot of good things but we, we just need to execute at a, a slightly higher level so uh, when you're playing every, everybody we play is really good and you're going to be in a lot of tight games and usually when two really good teams are playing the team that executes at a the higher level is going to win the game, and we haven't been doing that quite enough the last three or four weeks. Dom, um, uh, what's the story behind the, the disco helmet you guys have in the in the dugout? What's the is there a story behind that, and what's what's that been like for you guys? Uh, not really. I mean, <laughs> it's just one day I just see a disco helmet, and all of a sudden, uh, I guess Jim was like, "Hey, we're gonna wear this for whenever we hit home run." And I was, we we're all like, "Okay." So that's pretty much the story. I, uh, yeah, there's really not much story behind that. So he just randomly showed up and pulled it out of, his, out of his bat bag? <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> okay, awesome. Yeah. What about you, Ed? What are your thoughts on the on the, on the disco helmet? I love it. We get pumped about it. We get the little picture, the little Polaroid taken of us. So I think it's cool. Awesome. Fun to get the dugout going. When, uh, what's this? Is, this, is the disco helmet what y'all call it? Or is there an official name for it or anything? Oh, or? yeah. I mean, just disco helmet. Okay. What about you, Coach Bo? Like, what are your thoughts on that? And, you know, what does that do for team camaraderie and spirits and that kind of stuff? Yeah, you know, I love the kids that have fun. And there's a line between like having fun, you know, and, and you know, showboating or insulting <laughs> the opponent. And the kids are just having fun. So it, it's kind of funny. I got home one night and my wife Kim was like, What is that helmet they put on? I was like, What are you talking about? I really didn't even know anything about it until you had like a third or fourth home run. So that's how you know you're old when you're kind of last to, last to know. But I'm, I hope we take a lot more Polaroids in the next few weeks. <laughs> awesome. Who's the one that usually takes the Polaroids? Is it the same guy every time, or is it y'all just kind of throw the camera around? Is it Jenny? Uh, Jenny sometimes does. Uh, okay. Also, Jim does too. I think Jim does. Okay. Jim, does <laughs> so, it a lot. Jim seems to be the center of a yeah. lot of this yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, started, it kind of started with a disposable camera, and then <laughs> next thing I know, there's a Polaroid. I don't know how many of our kids even know, you know, what a Polaroid camera is. Maybe, you know? <laughs> awesome. That's all I got. All right. Thank you, guys. Right. Appreciate y'all.